But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs>
If you think that this is make Jesus bad, I believe this is make Jesus great. Now we go to another, the title of this video. You know, uh, YouTube suggests for me a video, and I look at this video, what the heck is that? You know, it's a, it's a hummus. Uh, as you see in the title, uh, this is uh, this is two uh, two Abdul making uh, hummus together. I think this is like in YouTube, and then they post it in TikTok. And the title of the uh, the video, uh, David would promote Islam. So I became interested to know how David would promote Islam. I know that David would promote Muslims, but not he don't mean it, you know. And we explained that before. But promote Islam, I want to see how that happened. So this Abdul here, uh, he was talking to other Abdul. You know, Abdul, conversation. Correctly as well, right? I got interested in Islam through his videos. Then I started watching the debates with him and Mohammed Hijab and other people. And it was quite interesting to see and to follow down that rabbit hole. So I would say that nevertheless, even bad promotion is still promotion. And they look into Islam and they find, you know, if if they incline towards peace, also incline towards peace. What is this? What, what is this? Yeah, what is this? So let's, the video is very short. It's like a few seconds. This is a short video on YouTube. This is why you see their faces very long. Uh, not like not because they are donkeys now. Uh, you know, when somebody says David Wood, he promote Islam. I have to agree in a certain point that David Wood, he promote Muslims. As an example, he go. To, I was, it was me and uh, Uthman, and Uthman, he, he said, Christian Prince, if you are a man, come here. David Wood, he go there. <laughs> and he made Uthman famous. Uh, Muhammad Hijab, the same. Uh, Christian Prince, you know, I challenge him. To, uh, Muhammad Hijab, he debated David Wood. Muhammad Hijab, he became famous. And, you know, this is why my complaint about David Wood. You see this guy here. He think that David Wood, he lost a debate because he did not do mockery. Mockery, my friend, you don't debate Muslims. This is, they don't debate you, they make mockery. And this is a fool. He watched the debate, he says, oh, this guy is making mockery of this guy. So obviously the other guy, he cannot respond to the mockery. That's mean the Muslim guy is following the true religion. So this guy, he became interested, the blonde guy, not this Abdul, uh, interested in Islam because simply David Wood did not do a good job according to his statement. But why you don't go and check what Mimi Hijab he said and then you will find that Mimi Hijab he did a horrible job regarding answering the questions but he was doing mockery and you are convinced with mockery. If we go to Mimi Hijab, this is Mimi Hijab. And this is a video I made for you know uh, for Mimi Hijab because simply David did not do a good job to answer him right away in the spot. Okay, no problem. If, if it's that meant to be God, no problem. Spirits of God hovered over the uh, hovered over after the God created the heavens and the earth. Okay, no problem. If, if it's that meant to be God, no problem. Let's go to Zacharias. In Old Testament, chapter 6, verse 5, there are four spirits. So are there seven gods now? Because <laughs> well, Kari, see? So you are a fool, you are a donkey. If you go to Zechariah, check the verse, you will see those are angels. Open the Bible, he mentioned to you for, for your verse. So either you are just a kid, and you are so lazy, and you are simply, maybe you like Islam because Allah will give you an endless penis. Maybe you like Islam because it will give you a lot of women for boom, boom. Maybe you are a, a pervert, you know? But don't tell me because of David Wood. The verse he just gave you proved that this guy is a fool and he's a liar. We go to the verse and here we go. This is the Bible. Anyone can open it. And this is this is verse is written long before Islam and long before Jesus came to this earth as Christ, the one we know as a Christian, born of Mary. And this is the verse in front of you. It says those are angels. So where what he is saying is true. When the Bible says the Spirit of God was over, you know, uh, uh, hovering, there was only one Spirit, not spirits, one Spirit. And those are not the same. The Holy Spirit is not a Spirit. 
created by God. Those are created spirits. I have a spirit, I have a soul. And this guy now, he will mock a mockery, and now suddenly he claimed that he speak Hebrew. And later he says that Elijah means God is with us. So those fools, they like mockery. Because the word in, uh, in Hebrew is Ruach. And you the word in Hebrew is Ruach. Suddenly now he speak Hebrew. Ruach. The word in Hebrew is Ruach. And? You wouldn't know about Hebrew because look, I... You do not know about Hebrew. Hey, David Wood, you're, you do not know David Wood. Come on. Seven gods now. Because the word in, uh, in Hebrew is Ruach. And you wouldn't know about Hebrew because look, I, I, I think... Not only do you not know Arabic, but you don't know Hebrew, and you're making a big mistake by trying to interpret the, the biblical text in this way. See the stupidity? Now, just to show you how donkey this guy is, I mean, this is, my, this is a video made by me. You can watch it, and you will see how many mistakes he said, exposing his religion. This guy is the same person who said, not a single Jew, not a single Jew, not a single Jew, do not believe or believe that God have a son. And then we go to the Quran, we type one word, we will find that the Jews believe that Allah have a son. His name is Uzair. I mean, this guy, he is a certified donkey, my friend. But because he's making a mockery, and maybe you think that the one who make a mockery is a winner, well, that's mean you are an idiot too. This is their Quran. This guy, he actually, he attack his religion. He just get his God busted because he said, not a single Jew. And David Wood, I have to admit, he did not answer and get him busted right away. You know, if you are knowledgeable in Islam, you will say to him, did you just say that? Did you just say, not a single Jew? Hey, Abdul, did you just say that? And then put this verse in the front of everybody. And let everybody laugh at him. So every statement, David, what he says to him, your God have body part. Muhammad Hijab made a mockery, he says, who said so? <laughs> Well, your prophet says so. Your God says so. If we go right now to YouTube and we type Allah hands, we will find tons of Muslim scholars saying, yes, Allah have hands, Allah have foot, Allah have a face. And not only that, later himself, himself, this potato, and the video in YouTube, he said, yes, can Allah can enter inside his, inside the, his creation. So what was the problem? So, we have a fool, because he do mockery, he look like he won. And this is why I don't like the way David Wood, he debate. You don't debate Muslims. You don't. Because a one who his debate is based on mockery, you need to whip the floor with him. Otherwise, the Muslim, they think you are losing. This is their mentality. The Quran taught them, the book of the devil, that Allah, he made us nice to be humiliated. Not because we're nice. You have to be careful, Christians. When you are nice with Muslims, Muslims, they think that Allah, he cursed you. This is what the faith in Muhammad, he said to them in chapter 3, verse 112. That Allah, he put a curse on us. So we accept humiliation. And when you are nice speaking to them, they say, oh, Allah was right. Look, we insult them, they don't retaliate. Look, we spit at their face, they don't fight back. Look, we make mockery of Jesus. And they don't go crazy. And this is why those cowards don't dare to debate me. Mimi Hijab, he told the Muslims, who you like me to debate? They told him, Christian Prince, he made thousands of Muslims leave Islam. What he did, you remember, he did not dare to debate me. This is a guy who never even said the word, inshallah. And maybe some naive people do not know what does that mean. If you don't say inshallah, when you claim to want to do something, that means you are not a Muslim. And you don't believe in Islam. This guy never say inshallah. He start an argument, he never say inshallah. When he start to call, no, never say inshallah. Start debate with David, inshallah does not exist in his dictionary. He is just a street boy 
was made famous by David Wood. But look, David Wood make them famous, and we give them the needle, and the balloon is out. People now, everybody is laughing at Mimi Hijab, everybody is laughing at the earth man. So David would make you so big, we make you so small. I encourage people, if you have little brain or you have a bigger brain, because yes, there's people who have little brain, what you can do about it, I mean, this is how life is. There's people that are smart, there's people that are dumb. I'm not insulting, but this is fact. Go watch my videos, huh? Like this one here. This is one of many I made for the debate. Go and see how many stupid things he said. I mean, this guy is a stupid talking machine. I, I cannot even believe it that even the Muslim themselves did not notice how stupid he is and how, you know, uh, how, how funny his argument and how silly and how he is insulting his God. Elijah, I mean, God was with us and he was escorting David Wood. And he is going to debate, and he learned that God, sorry, Elijah, I mean God with us. Mm -hmm. So if, and you wouldn't know about Hebrew, because look, I, I, I think not only do you not know Arabic, but you don't know Hebrew, and you're making a big mistake by trying to interpret the, the biblical text in this way. There's two words for spirits in the Hebrew language, ruach, which is the same as the Arabic, and the ruach. The word ruach is here in, uh, in Zechariah's... Uh, Let us give him a big, big bust. If we go in the stupid Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad, you will see that there is there is Ruh and there is a Ruh al Qudus. Can the Muslim answer why there is only one spirit called the Holy Spirit? Chapter 2, verse number 87, chapter 2, verse 253, chapter 5, verse 110, chapter 16, 102. Ruh al Qudus. So there's a huge difference, you potato, between Ruh and Ruh al Qudus. Ruh al Qudus is a Holy Spirit. And what makes it holy? Is it holiness is only God? Muhammad is a fool. He heard the Christian keep saying, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Muhammad, he took it, he put it in his Quran. Read with me carefully. This is the word in Arabic and in English. Ruh al-Qudus, look what the Muslims they say. They say this is Jibreel. Not a single verse in the Quran says Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. Not a single verse in the Quran. I challenge every Abdul in the world. Big, small, shrink, doesn't matter. Actually, you know what? I will open my Skype. Maybe we can get lucky. With Abdul, he can bring answers to the dish. Because as usual, they are very brave with the one who do not know. With the one who knows, the answer is Allah knows best. I'm opening Skype. In case you are a Muslim, feel free to text me, and I will be happy to call you. Just text me first. You cannot call me unless you text me and then I text you or I will call you. And if you are a Christian, don't text me and say to me, hello. You are just being annoying. I'm just a blocking name now. Can you believe it? Uh, Muhammad Amir. Okay, let us see Muhammad Amir. I'm trying to call a, a gentleman. His name is Muhammad Amir. Look like he is not online. Maybe. Okay, forget. Next. I mean, I cannot believe it. Somebody is asking, can you give me a direct click for your YouTube? I mean, we have a banner 24 hours, seven days a week, patreon.com slash Christian Prince, and they tell me where we can find you. I'm not going to give you anything. 
those who don't want to use their brain, I have no use for them. Let us see. A guy, his name is Muhammad. Let us try this guy. We are calling Mr. Muhammad. Let us hope he will answer. So as you see in the front of us, it says Ruh al-Qudus. Hello? 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 Mr. Muhammad, you call, you text me to call me? Hello? Mahmoud? I don't hear you. Are you there? I don't know, maybe I woke him up. But I don't hear you, my friend. If you want me to call you back, just text me and I will call you. I challenge any Muslim to tell me why this spirit is called the Holy Spirit and where the name is coming from. When the first time the Muhammadan heard of this before? Is Allah holy? The Muslims say yes. Is the angels of Allah holy? According to Islam, no. So how this is Jibreel? Any Muslim? Anyone? Anybody? Any Christian, he will send me a message in his Skype. I will block you. I'm very serious. You want to say something to me? You say it here in the chat or in the comment. Skype is just for Muslim to call me. Any Muslim have the courage? To give us an answer, so those Muhammadan, the, you know, Islam is a is a, co a counterfeit belief. It's not a belief actually. Islam is a is a collection of beliefs. He took some from the Jews, some from the Christians, some from the Hindus, some from the Buddhas, some from the Sabi, and some from from some some, and then we end with with the three some. Allah Muhammad Jibril, the three some of Islam, and you will notice that in this cult. If those three some are not exist, there is no sex. Are we going to have sex in heaven if there's no Muhammad? No. Are we going to have sex in heaven if there's no Jibreel? No. Are we going to have sex in heaven if there's no Allah? No. So one of them is missing, the whole sex party is gone. And this is why I find it very funny when this guy, he says that David Wood, he promoted Islam and he make him think about Islam. Well, he did not make you think about Islam. He made you think about your penis, maybe. Because there's no way a person, he have a brain, he can accept that somebody come to your door, says, hey, my name is Muhammad. If you believe in me, I will give you a lot of women and they have no panties and their legs is up. So who is the stupid donkey who want to believe in such a promise? Unless you are a donkey. And you, he speak your penis. And your penis says, wow, you know, but not your brain. If you are using your brain, you will know right away that this is really silly and stupid. And it can't be from the Holy God anyway. If they claim that God is holy, what kind of God? He became a pimp. He became a sex vendor. Let me block this name. 
I told this mental woman not to text me a thousand times in Skype. Nightmare, or she called herself now Angel Eyes. You know, there's some women, they have mental issues. And some men, they have mental issues. And they stalk you. I mean, what's wrong with people? Take a medication, drink camel urine, convert to Islam. <laughs> what's wrong with people? I open my Skype, I find her there. I go to the comment, I find her there. I go to the Patreon, I find, I mean, what's wrong with you? Even Muhammad did not do that. Do we have any Abdul here want to say to us something convincing? I want to convert to Islam. I want to get 70. 70, one nightmare, she will drive you crazy. You want to have 79, 99. This is the lowest reward, imagine. This is not the reward. This is the lowest. The last one who enter heaven, he will get 72. This is not the reward of Muslims. This is the lowest reward. One of them, she will drive you crazy. Is that a promise of heaven or a promise of hell? And the funny is, all of them do look the same. So what the point? They have the same eyes, the same hair, the same, the same boobs, the same legs, the same, <clears throat> the same, the same, the same, the same, you know, the same voice, and even they sing the same song and they have the same name. So what the point? Imagine you enter a dating website, everybody there have the same picture, the same name, the same age, the same height, the same face, the same color. Which means in reality, you did not promise me 72. You are just fooling me. Do we have any Muhammadan? Look, I am a proud Muslim. And just to show you, you know, this is an example how Muslims they debate. So uh, uh, here we have, uh, what is his name? The Dura, the Farfur. Oh, still I have the, uh, I still have the Abdul, this Abdul to open here. Man, come on, just, I don't want to start with you now. Let us, let us say hello. ...is absolutely impermissible. I'm not a mufti, but I will hear, I will issue a fatwa. Salah behind Uthman bin Farooq, okay? Al-miskeen, yak al-jahil is haram. Hey, brother, is it okay to pray on the front, pray on the front of him? Is that safe? <laughs> The Muslims are trying to figure out who is Uthman ibn Farooq, and they come to the conclusion that he's a jahil, he's a miskeen, he's a stupid, he's a donkey, and he's a liar. And he does not know how to read Arabic, and he claims to have a master's degree in, hey, come on, I mean, your prophet is more stupid than him. Eh, give me a break. And then the guy here, he says, even my mother did not do his mistake. Are you insulting your mother? Definitely. He's not reliable. He's going to change the disciplines. He's a Google sheikh. You can tell he Google stuff. Definitely. He's been done recently for plagiarism, yeah. right? He's you stealing whole, whole section to be a local imam. You're not fit. Hey, come on, everything in the Quran is a theft from somebody. The seven sleeper, the Alexander the Great, uh, 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 uh Al Khudr, uh, the sunset in murky water, uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, I mean, come on. So now you are going after Uthman because he did steal some. Come on, man. Be honest with me, man. Is it all your religion is a theft? And this is why you do not know even what the names mean. What Israel mean? Where do you get the name Israel from? Hmm? Maskeen, huh? Well, your prophet Maskeen, he do not know how to read his name. If we write the word donkey and the right and, and the road Muhammad in the front of Muhammad, and we ask him which one is you. He will be confused. So, what the problem if you do not know how to read? How your prophet was reading? And the funny is, 
when the angel came to Muhammad, he said to him, read. Even he is using the wrong word. The word read is different from the word recite. You see, the same as in English, the same as in Arabic. Recite is a word, and read is a word. Read mean read. It's coming from the Aramaic, qarra wa ra'a. Qarra mean he said, he moved his tongue and his lips. Ra'a mean he saw. Qarra. So how the angel asking him to read, and he did not give him a book to read. You, even your angel is stupid, not only Uthman, not only Muhammad. I mean, the whole, the whole family, brother. And then this guy, I don't know which minute, he says that even his mother don't do such a mistake. Even your mother don't do such a mistake. What kind of a Muslim he insult his mother, and he's trying to compare her to someone who's stupid, and she is saying that his, his mother is not a stupid like him. She's a stupid, but not, not much. I cannot believe it that you say that, my friend. Your mother? Robon, yeah, with a gold lining. Yeah. So he's reading. So he's saying to Okay. He's making. Okay, stop with this guy. Now let us go to uh, Nadura. Uh, where is Nadura? Hold on. <sighs> My friend, you cannot call me. You cannot call me. You have to text me first. And secondly, you have to be a Muslim. Are you a Muslim? What is the video of Nunu? Okay, hold on. Uh, hey brother, I have a question before I say I am a Christian. Your little brother had a question. I have open Quran verse. Okay, let me block you because I said no Christian can ask me here. And you, might, you are my little brother, then you listen. I just blocked you. Is my little brother. Let us go to uh, the Nunu here. Hold on. Where is Nunu? I mean, I, I cannot believe it how silly some people are. Where is Nunu and, and David Wood debate? Hold on. Where are Oh, here we go. Hey, everybody. And one of the funny uh, way of David Wood debating, you know, some people think when I'm saying those things, I'm like putting David Wood down. But I have to say, David Wood do not know how to debate. You like it or not, you don't. You don't. Because simply, he tried to debate the same way Americans debate each other. When you debate Mohammedan, they are not the way, you don't debate them this way. You don't, and you do not need a moderator. What the moderator for? Stop having moderator. By having a moderator, you are giving the Muslim to hide behind the rock. Oh, moderator, stop him. It's my time now. And then he take the mic for five minutes, blah, 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 blah. But he never answered your question. So what's the point of this debate? So this is uh, this is uh, uh, David Wood with the uh, Nadura. Let us move here. Wipe out all of humanity due to these zoonotic diseases. So let's look at the impact. The impact here, as we can see, all over the world, Christians now eat monkey. Why? Jesus removed all restrictions on that. And there's many references which I can share with you. Here's the one. Some Liberian Christians eat monkey for spiritual reasons. Now, how does this prove Muhammad is a true prophet? This is not the topic that... Okay, hold on. You see you see how they... You know, this is how silly and how... And now how David Wood will answer? Hit him! 
based on what this guy, the same one he said to me, the alcohol, actually he mentioned the same topic again. Based on this, that Muslims, they eat monkeys and they use to eat everything. So Muhammad is the son of a monkey then. When, when the time Muhammad even forbid alcohol, when, when Muhammad, he forbid eating anything is not lawful. If you go in the Quran, learn, learn, Christian, learn how to, how to get them busted. Go watch my, my uh, I don't want to call it a debate when this guy, he called me, I made him, I made him the joke of everybody in two seconds. When a Muslim, he speak about what is forbidden and what is not forbidden. Look what the Quran says. Chapter 3, verse number 93. All food was lawful for the children of Israel, except what Israel made unlawful for himself. So it's not even God who made it for according to the Quran. So according to the Quran, Allah, he did not forbid them, the, the Jews and everybody from the time of Adam until now to eat monkeys, including Nader, Nader Ahmed. Because you are one, you are one of them. This is your Quran. Your Quran says Allah, he never gave the Jews an order to forbid anything until the Torah arrived. And the verse in front of you. All food is lawful. And drink too, which means alcohol. But when you are a person debating a Muhammadan and you do not have a good knowledge in the Quran, and you have little verses you play with here and there, so the Muslim, they will not fear surprises from you. Because they, they knew, and you can watch a previous video of you, they knew exactly what your answer would be. Same when this guy, he speak about alcohol. Well, if drinking alcohol will cause diseases and illness, well, you're a prophet, he forbid alcohol at the last, at the, at the end of his life. That's mean Muhammad himself have diseases from alcohol and his mother, she was behind it. And all the companion of Muhammad, they were sick because of alcohol because they used to drink when they go to pray. And Muhammad did not forbid it until almost he did. And in Christianity, nowhere it says you go and you drink alcohol to be addicted. Those, those uh, studies that one talking about, it's false. A statement he is saying, the study says if you're addicted, if you are addicted, not if you are drinking alcohol. There's a huge difference between somebody, he have addiction, so he drink alcohol more than he drink water, and somebody he drink little tiny alcohol once a week maybe, or even once a, once a day. But let's say you drink one beer a day, that will not cause any problem to anyone. So they lie, and the purpose is to make Christianity look bad. But then we find that Muhammad, he ordered him to drink camel urine, which is a total disaster. And it's nothing but acid and bacteria. And there's a huge warning from United Nations that biggest disease come even from the camel milk. Not the urine, but the Muslim, they drink not only the milk, they eat the meat and they even, they drink the, the urine of the, the camel. So when you want to debate with Muslims, my friend, you need to refute them from their book. Stop looking for your book. Don't use that. This is why they fear me. When I get them busted from their book, what they can say? If a person is saying to me that if you drink alcohol, your children, they will have a syndrome and there will be a, a low IQ and there will be la, 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 blah, blah, blah. That's me. Muhammad himself is a low IQ because of, because of, of, of uh, drinking. And Muhammad used to teach his followers how to drink and how to make a drink. And the Muslim, they used to come to the mosque and they are totally drunk. Not only they smell bad from drinking, they are drunk. You know what drunk mean? And the Quran says alcohol is a miracle from Allah.
Do we have any sheik would like to try his missiles with us? Who is a sheik with beard? Maybe he speak Arabic. What do you think? Somebody saying a Christian mocking Muslims. No, we are not mocking Muslims. We are exposing Islam. You don't like it, leave. You Muslim, you call us pigs, monkeys, liars, kuffar, the worst of the creatures. Uh, we are nudges. And then you see those Christians mocking Muslims. I mean, look who, that, that, what, this is what happened when the whore, she made her underwear a flag of dignity. A whore, she make her panty a flag of ethic. Is that your book calling the Christian and the Jews pigs and monkeys? The worst of the creatures? So far? Is it you who woke up in the morning and says, please Allah don't make us like, like the lost Christians and the cursed Jews? Imagine the first thing you do in the morning, you say, please Allah don't make me like the Muslims. So what's wrong with you? Please, please, Allah, don't make me like Zachary Naik, please. What the heck? And they complain. I mean, they are the followers of the mockery cult who insult and don't insult the Prophet. They insult everybody. Do we have any Abdul? They complain, but their complaint is against them. If you are against mockery, then you should delete all the mockery verses from the Quran. Then you should not follow a prophet of mockery. I mean, your God, he made a chapters just to do mockery of the uncle of Muhammad. Have you ever heard of a God speak like this? This is God? Okay, perish the hand of Abu Lahab, the uncle of the Prophet, perish he, okay? His wealth and the children will not benefit him, uh-huh, and he will be burnt in, the, in the fire, uh-huh, and his wife, brother, his wife, his wife, she will carry in her neck uh, like an, 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 an uh, what, uh, an, a ne uh, uh, like a, a jewelry, I'm sorry, not a necklace, necklace made from rope, brother, made from rope. And not only that, she will be carrying wood, brother. Like, what the heck? This is God. Those are two people. Let us say they are bad. So the God who created the earth and the heaven, he went to his office. Ah, Abu Lahab. Hmm. yada Abu Lahab. What this is, this is religion. Are you doing bully? The wife of the guy, she will carry a rope around her neck. What kind of God he speaks such a way in? I mean, where is the holy God who speak? Okay, deal with them. Yeah, deal with them, just go and, you know, uh, what they do, they go and kill them. Their God cannot kill them. And the funny that Muhammad himself, he married his two daughters to, their, to his son. And what make it more funny that those two sons, they kick the daughters of Muhammad out of their houses. And this is why the drama is happening. Abu Lahab was a gay. Well, according to Muslims, uh, you see the Muslims, anyone who don't accept Islam, they will make stories about him. So it, it is maybe, maybe it's not. But look how stupid it is. Why somebody want to speak about his uncle in a, such a way? I mean, this is, this is very law, isn't it? Let us say well, Abu Lahab was not a gay. But why Muhammad, he want to say something against him? And why, what this is about the wife? What, you know, what the heck is that? 
Uh, and the video we mentioned to you about this guy who was entrusted because of uh, David Wood. This guy, he says, this religion ordered you to be uh, to have peace with your neighbors. Uh -huh. Is that right? Look like I got the wrong Quran, brother. He says, when you go for peace, go for it. What a liar. What a potato. Muslims, they can go only for peace. Only if they are not the upper hand. Only. Which means if they are losing. Chapter 47, verse number 35. Don't be weak and ask for peace from the enemies of Islam while you are having the upper hand. So the Muslim, they say to you, the Prophet, I can show you a verse in the Quran says, if they seek peace, you seek peace too. Liar. This is only if the Muslims are weak, like now you sign a peace agreement with Israel. Now all of you is under the wings of USA. You need their protection, you need their weapon, you need their animation, you need their radar, you need their, you need, you need everything from them. What do you do? What do you make in your country? Hamas? Even Hamas is not your maid. All Islamic countries, they cannot even make food to, 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 uh, to feed the, the, the people, everything. Like this is why when the war in Ukraine happened, all those Middle Eastern countries, they are going crazy. And yesterday, or two days ago, uh, uh, an Indian official, he insulted the Prophet. And then the Muslims, be caught, be caught Indian product, I challenge you. You will go hungry. Be caught, go ahead. Go, go, go. Be caught. I mean, who is fooling who? You need their labor. You need their food. You need their product. You, you, you make nothing in your country. Be caught China too. You see, Oh, do you see Muhammad Hijab? He took his T-shirt showing his nipples. He was doing breastfeeding for adult for the China. Like he took off the T-shirt. What, what a potato. The jeans he's wearing is made in China. The suit he's wearing is made in China. The phone he's holding is made in China. So you be caught them by speech, but your microphone, your computer, everything is made in China. Be caught in China, I challenge you. You will go naked. I like Chinese, by the way. You see, I, honestly, there's many people, they, they attack China, but I believe Chinese are really, I mean, they have an old ancient civilization. We can't compare it to many other nations. But there's a lot of hatred, and there's a lot of jealousy, you know, of Asian people's success. Like they make TikTok, Trump, he will not forbid it. Why? Because they are afraid that America will not control the internet forever. There's somebody competing with us now. They don't want anyone to make weapon, so we are the only one who sell weapon. When a virus comes, they say the Chinese, and then we find out that the one who was paying to the laboratory, it was the American. So there's a lot of stupid things go around, and Islam is one of them. So they use Islam as a reason to put sanctions in China. But the purpose we knew is just to make China weaker. Since when the American and those European really, they care for Muslims. Even Muslim countries themselves, they never be caught the Chinese. The Prince of Saudi Arabia, the Crown Prince, the King of Jordan, the, the President of, China, of Egypt. I mean, name one of them, he be caught the Chinese. So why Muslim countries don't put sanctions on the Chinese, but the Western country they do? And the reason why? Muslims, brother. Muslims. They want to defend the Muslims. What a scam. We know that this is a scam. This is not the truth. 
Do you know I know Chinese people? My friend, I mean, myself, I used to be Chinese. But then I, you know, I went to Arabia. This was a true story, by the way. I was using the flying carpet. Uh, you, you know, you watch Chinese movies? I mean, I, I like Chinese movies. There's two movies I like, Chinese and Indian. The Chinese, you see suddenly people flying. How? Don't, don't ask. And the guy fly from building to building. I tried to do that once. I broke my leg. But anyway, this is a true story too. The other movies I like is Indian movie. A guy meeting with the girl supposedly in the middle of nowhere. And then suddenly 10,000 dancers appear. How? Don't ask. When? Who care? Just shake your head. So I love Indian movies and I love Chinese movies. But my friend, what people they say about those countries is a propaganda to make them weaker. Like it's India is against the Muslim. India is harassing the Muslims. Can you ask me how the Muslim they, 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 they treat an, a Hindu person in Qatar? Do you know what they do to them? Do you know how they put a lot of pressure on them to convert to Islam? Do you know they bring a Hindu guy, they said to him, you know, the economy now is not doing good, so we had to let you go. However, this is between me and you. If you convert to Islam, we can let you stay. The guy, he paid for the visa. He, they suck his blood, and he have a children to feed, and now they are telling him, they go home. If you convert to Islam, I can speak to some people. This is between me and you, okay? Between me and you. And I can see, I will, I promise you, I will let you stay. You see how they do to them? The same they do to the Filipinos, the same they do to the, the Indonesian, the same. Everybody go to their countries. They put a million tons of pressure on them to make them convert to Islam. And not to mention rape, and not to mention slavery. I mean, go and see how they treat the Hindus and the Indian in general in Qatar, or in Emirat, or in Bahrain, or in Saudi Arabia, just because he's an Indian. If you are an American, they will give you an apartment by yourself, air conditions, a car. If you are an Indian, they will put you in a little bed, in a room, have 50 beds, and there's no air condition. Remember, this is Saudi Arabia. The temperature there is higher than oven. This is the truth, my friend. So we don't go by what the Americans say. We don't go by what the Western say. We go by the truth. And yes, the Chinese government is against Christianity and they destroy churches. But we don't see a single Western leader says we will put sanctions on China because they are doing bad things to the Christians. No, they want to put sanctions only for the sake of the Muslims. There's no Christian there. You type right now, the day I arrived to China last time is the same day, a, a huge church. They have more than 40,000 people belong to this church. They, 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 they took it down to the ground. The same day I arrived. And we don't hear neither Trump, neither any Western leader speaking about it. Who is this guy? Let us see. If he is a Muslim, we will block him. <clears throat> Hello? Yes, my friend, are you a Muslim? Why? No, we said only Muslims, they can call us. Sorry. If you have a question about the Quran, you leave it in the comment section or in the chat. This is why we have the chat open. We said a million times, if you are a Christian, don't call me. Don't even text me in Skype. If you are a Muslim, feel free to call me. If you are a Christian, we have the chat. We have the comment section.
And Abdul, who is a Muslim would like to call us and tell us one thing is true about Muhammad? Anything. Anyone? I need to learn Indonesian language. My friend, who said to you I don't speak Indonesian? I speak Indonesian. Did you see my debate with the guy from Indonesia, the one who offered me five hamburgers, I mean five BMW? That was an Indonesian language, by the way. So it sounds like English, but in reality, it's Indonesian. Christian Prince, I have a challenge for you. Five BMW, if you can answer those questions. And the guy, he died with his foolishness. We made him shish kebab. I speak all languages, by the way. The, the grandson of Muhammad, he speaks 70 million languages. Me, I speak like eh, 69, 99, 99 million languages. I can't beat Al-Hassan, to be honest with you. I mean, come on. The Shia would be upset if I say I speak more than the Hassan languages. 70 million languages, Shia, are you sure? I mean, the guy, he speaks 70 million. Why he stop there? Speak all languages. Ching pong. That's it. You know? Any Abdul? I speak German. I speak, uh, you know, I speak like all. Uh, I speak all languages except Arabic. And the Muslim, they say to you, some friend don't speak Arabic. What the heck? So what is my language, man? Hit, hit. Okay, my friend, you are Chinese. We got it. We got it. What we will do now? Make a party? As long as you are Chinese, at least bring us some spicy food. So what we will do, what you say in your Chinese? Chinese, that's it? Do something. Uh... <laughs> Do we have any Muhammadan? CP, may God keep you for longer years. Why? Why, my friend? What I did to you? Why you are doing that to me? Why you want to stay for longer? Why people are so much attached to life? I don't want to stay for long. What the heck with this life? There's nothing there. You open TV, you have Joe Biden. The, the guy, he think he is the wife of Joe Biden. I mean, we have a president. We, we live in a country where people elected the most stupid person ever in history. And this is telling you the quality of the voters. I mean, from all Americans, you could not find except Joe Biden. The guy, he forget his name. Unbelievable. No wonder he caught Muhammad. Uh, you don't want to be alive, but we have to. Hey, come on, three, three D, 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 O. I don't know your name. Don't give me drama. Well, it's just give your money to us and go. You just, just go. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about life, you know. <laughs> I promise you have him, brother. 70 virgins. Just, you know, okay. True story. Do we have any Mohammedan? Anyone? Americans are kind for elderly. This is an elderly abuse, my friend. When you put somebody in the position, he became a joke of everybody. This is not respect, brother, you know. Anyway, what we can do? Uh, who is a Muhammadan would like to call us and tell us anything is making Muhammad look, sound like a prophet, look like a prophet? Act like a prophet. What prophet he do exactly? When somebody says that Muhammad is a prophet, what does that mean? Let me tell you what does that mean. That means that he is prophesying how the baby is made. And how the baby is made? Amazing discovery. According to the prophet, who come with the prophecies, who Allah told him, 
how the baby is made and who knows better Allah knows best as the Muslim they say according to them according to Muhammad according to Allah Allah he made you from nutfa what nutfa mean nutfa is a drop of liquid which is the semen semen of who hmm Hmm. And then the semen, which is a nutfa, which means by millions, trillions. I don't know how many uh, uh, semen they live uh, inside a drop. You know, I never, I never count them. It's hard to count them. I mean, how you can count them? I think you know what? We can count them. We can say, if you are a male semen, say I. If you are a female semen, say uh, hi. You know. And then we put them like we ask them to separate the gender. Hey, by the way, why semen and female and male are mixed? Is it haram? Why Allah he allowed that? What the heck is that? And then the Quran come with us with the amazing knowledge that the semen become a piece of thick congo what the heck is that? Coagulated co blood. I don't know what to, how to read the word, man. My friend, this is a, this is above my grade. We need maybe hijab. He speak good English. A thick coagulated blood. Are you sure? This is a prophet. He's a prophet. He knew everything. Allah told him. This is Allah speaking. Come on. You see, they try to lie to you. They say the prophet. He is really literate. He cannot be. Look at this knowledge. Look at this. How the prophet he knew this if he is not a prophet? Huh? Hmm. So the the nutfa will become a dead blood. Uh, so if somebody now he excuse my language ejaculate. Uh, uh, and he like you know uh, let us say ejaculate outside you know not uh, you know it's going to be blood brother so why we donate blood from taking it from the nerve I mean from the vein just take it from the ejaculation take the ejaculation put them in the refrigerator and then the ejaculation will become a blood brother we just found a way to make blood Take a beer. Okay. Let us see. <laughs> I hope that scientists will not take my discovery now and they will try to make blood from ejaculation. They will open a special room in the hospital for masturbation. The man they go in the, inside the brother, they masturbate. The hospital, they collect their ejaculation. They leave it for 20, 40 days, according to the prophet, and then become a blood brother. I mean, what kind of genius this prophet is? And they are saying to me, he's the prophet. And the semen live for 40 days and then become a blood. 40 days. You know what? I was always thinking about my semen as Alibaba and the 40 thieves. <laughs> what the heck is that? You see why Muslims don't dare to call? Because they knew what will happen. If I am David Wood, they will be lying up. You know, he speak to them nice, you know. Oh, this guy is an ex-Muslim. He don't understand very good English. Oh, okay. All right, my friend. Let us call him. You ask him first. So my brother, Allah will collect you as a semen in the womb of your mother for 40 days. It's time to wake up. The prophet is saying the truth. In Google, they are lying. They say 
semen can live for five days. Who you want to believe? Prophet of Allah? Huh? Or Google? Please be upon him. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? And you know, Muhammad is the only one who come with the, did I say come? I don't mean that word, you know? Okay. Uh, uh, is the only one who come with the conclusion that women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs. That will rip you apart, my friend. Would the prophet come with such a knowledge? From the ribs? That's deep. And then the Muhammadan, they try to fix it. The same as the story of the sun set in a, in a muddy spring of water. Uh, they say, brother, this is from the perspective of Zulkarnain. It's not Allah saying the son Abdul. It says he found it sitting in a spring of water. He did not say he, he thought. He did not say it appeared to be. Don't you Muslim you say that the Quran is amazing Quran Arabic, which means it's so clear. So now why you need to add words to the verse? Because we need to fix it. Any Abdul? Any Muhammadan? May they, may they. If you call me and debate me, Allah will give you a lot of versions. Spicy girls. Don't you want to have a spicy girls? Very spicy, hot, me. To the point their sperm is coming from their ribs. And by the way, the ribs here is the location at Taraib is a bone in the top of the ribs for women where the necklace, you know, like you see what they call it. I forgot, I keep forgetting the name. I mean, I, never, I would never learn English. I don't know why. Uh, there is a, there is a, there is a, if you put your finger, in the top of your ribs. Look how many of them put in their finger. I see you. I see you. Okay. Look how many of them. I made them all put their finger there. Okay. So if you put your finger there, where the two ribs in the top under your neck meet, that is a tribe. It's not the whole ribs. It's that location. So according to Muhammad, he chose a word. By the way, the reason he chose that word, because Muhammad is trying to make... Uh, Supposedly, uh, Arabic music, you know, an idiot. So, a sulb is the backbone, and a taraib is a bone for the women only, called a taraib. You see, Arabic is very specific. It's not like, you know, English, you say uh, uh, you to many and you to one, and you to female and you to male. Arabic is different. So, taraib is a specific bone for the women. Collar bone. Why she have a cell phone there? You really they call her, in English they call it collar bone? You must be kidding me. You call your wife from her ribs? Collar call call bone. Wow, I just learned something new today. Thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. So, and you know, and the funny, the Muslim, they say, you are a liar. He is giving you false translation. This is absolutely false. Okay, can, go, can we go to Ibn Kathir? Ibn Kathir is a liar too. He is a Hindu. Everybody knows Ibn Kathir. He don't eat beef. But what the heck? Yes, this is the proof. If Ibn Kathir, he was a Muslim, he would eat beef. Uh, Abdul, he eat beef. What is the reference? He don't eat beef. Well, he used to eat beef, but he became a Hindu later. <laughs> So, uh, brothers and sisters, look, this is Ibn Kathir. And uh, by the way, Ibn Kathir is a moderate scholar compared to the, you know, I mean, he's a, he's a YouTuber in his time. So he was trying to refute the Christians who point their finger at the stupid Quran. 
So Ibn Kathir is not an honest uh, uh, person, but look what he said, even Ibn Kathir, even Ibn Kathir, look what he said. This is Ibn Kathir. <clears throat> oh, fuh, 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 fuh. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. And it's funny, the Muslim, they sing it. يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالطَّرَائِبِ the shake at the end, he went, like, take it easy, man. I mean, what are you doing? And then, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, which is referring to her chest. What the heck? That's so good. And now, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. It is between two years, the bracket. Fluid is yellow and fine in texture. Look at the details of science, brother. You see, Muhammad is not having sex. Muhammad is studying. You misunderstood him. The prophet, he made them, you know, boom, boom. No, 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 no. He is studying the... the, the, the the what? Uh, I forgot the word. Uh, like uh, how, how this liquid is made of, you know? So he was looking like, hmm, let us taste it. Mm, oh, oh, okay. Mm, mm -hmm. So it is yellow and fine, in, according to Muhammad. Women's sperm is yellow and fine in texture. The Muslims, how in the world this happened? Why women, they have a sperm, and how come it is yellow? Are you sure? Women's sperm is yellow. What the heck? Prophet of Allah, he knows everything. Who said this? Prophet of Allah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's so wow. Any Muhammadan want to say anything? I'm really disappointed about women. I mean, why you women? I thought it's only us men we have a semen. It turned out to you we have semen too. And you are hiding it from us. I mean, do you see why we cannot trust women these days? All the sensories, all the sensories, women after women after women, since the time of our grandfather Adam, they never told us that they have semen too. And the Prophet of Allah Muhammad, he came and he exposed them, brother. He got them busted. And he pointed his finger at their semen, says it is yellow and fine in texture. This is not because they are infected with sexual disease. No, brother, no, no. This is semen. You cannot trust women, man. They have semen and we think we have... So now what will happen? So like when you have sex, so your semen will be fighting with the semen of the women? And who's going to win? And no wonder now the scientists, they say, only one semen will live. Like what the heck? It looked like those women's semen, they kill your semen. There's a war inside the brother. The yellow semen versus the white semen. Takbir. And the fight will start. And a lot of injuries, a lot of dead semen. His tongue is coming out. Brother, what happened to you? I was killed by a female semen. <laughs> what the heck?
But the Prophet of Allah, he knew those things. Hmm? Let us go to the hadith because Muslim they might say, Oh, this guy is lying. He's giving you first translation. Well, this is your translation. This is your Muslim website. <clears throat> oh. Let us see. Let us see this. Where we can find the hadith. Give me a give me give me a semen. I mean, give me a second. Sorry. <laughs> Once I was doing a radio show, and you know, like my English is not good English. Yeah, as you know, you know, it's okay. You know. So I was saying that that does not. I want to say it doesn't make sense. So I said it doesn't make sex. Unbelievable. And the Muslim they says to me, why do you keep talking about sex? I mean, your only religion is about sex. You die for it. Uh, type in or type in English. I hate it when you type like you type a sentence and you think you are done. Uh, but then you find that you did type it in the wrong language. Let me try to find this hadith so we can laugh a little bit. I hope we can find it in Arabic, in English. Maybe not. Okay. Look what it says here in Arabic. A Muslim guy is asking about the hadith where it says that the women's semen uh, is yellow. The Muslim sheikh he answers saying, the reason the women's semen is yellow and sometimes it can be white because she eat too much food. <laughs> According to the Imam al Nawawi, in the explanation of Sahih Muslim, he says, And the, the semen or the, the, yeah, the semen of the woman or the sperm of the women is yellow and fine, and it can be white if she is so strong. You know what I'm talking about? Don't tell me you have no idea what I'm saying. And then he says, and the woman who is strong, she have testicles, those semen. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, not testicle. Uh, uh, two, uh, not chasiyatan, chasiyatan, chasiyatan. It have two uh, st st structures, you know, like two things to know it to recognize it. Number one. It smelled bad, the same as the semen of the men. Number two, she enjoy it when it's coming out, and her sexual desire die. Let me use the Google translation, please be upon him, so you guys can read with me the amazing, beautiful answer of the sick. Translate to English. So here the question is, issue about semen, women's semen. Have you ever heard of religion in the year 2020, 22, 21, 20, whatever? They believe that women have semen. Yes, the brother, the prophet, he said so. So what we can do? Then he continue. Is the color of the women of the semen is yellow? A sheikh, he told me that women, according to the hadith, women, they have blah, 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 blah. And now the guy, he was going to answer him. Look at this. 
Praise be to Allah, and prayer and peace be upon Muhammad. The majority of women semen is yellow, and maybe white, due to their strength, not intercourse, uh, 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 increase in her diet. Now I know why some women, they go in certain diet. Like they have some kind, they want to eat seafood, you know, it's, you know, selfish, uh, you know, like your wife, she asked you to buy her a lobster. Lot, what? Lobster, even the name is fishing. Look, look, look. Lob, lab, lab, huh? Uh, focus, focus with me, focus. I, I, let me type it for you. All of you are not good in English, and I'm the only one here to speak English. Thank you very much. So, lab. Why I'm typing it in yellow? Ah, because it's because it's yellow. Yeah, it's a semen is yellow. They can't see it this way. Let us change the color, brother. What the heck is that? So let us make it uh, blue. Blue, blue. Okay, not the blue too. Let us make it a green, green. Not a green. Yeah, green is good. Look. So what your wife should do to you, brother? She says to you, I want to eat lava star. Focus with me. Lab star. Brother. This woman, when she eat this lava star, she got extra hormone and extra science, brother. This is pure science. I'm not talking from my head now. This is science. This is what I learned. Slow, what lava star? Are you changing the world? The real word is lab star because simply your wife, she eat it, she jump right away in your lab. Don't you notice that? Like you take her to dinner, you buy her lab star, she go home, she jump in, well, hello. We know how it's work. Prophet Muhammad, he, you know, he, look at this science. So because it is, so it, the, the semen of the women is yellow, but it, it might go white, because she is eating lobster. <laughs> in the Nawawi in interpretation or explanation, he says, as for the women's semen, yes, brother, give us more jewelries. Go ahead, go ahead. As for the women's semen, it is thin, yellow, and maybe white due to virtue of her strength that's getting so much sexual so women brother i want you to from night from today make a sexual study you go to the bedroom you do boom boom with your wife if her semen is white that because she is so strong like like 300 horse brother if your wife she is you have any yellow semen? <laughs> Sorry to tell you, she is not as strong. This is science. This is a pure science, brother. And by the way, all those information proven to be sahih. Look, look, here it says those because they are is proven to be sahih. What people don't they don't want to convert to Islam and the semen which a woman you know uh, have has two uh, okay are known by one of them it's a smell like the smell of men semen that's deep expert expert and second the pleasure of the women they are talking about the women it die after she, you know, <laughs> the science of the Quran, brother, explained. And then you will see a Christian lying to you and saying Islam is not a book of science. How they can fool you? Who knows more than the Prophet of Allah? Nobody. Let us be honest here. Who knows more than Allah Prophet?
Nobody. According to most scientific studies in the world, only Prophet of Allah he knew. Because he's a prophet of Allah. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. <laughs> Man. Guys, I don't know if I if I can share with this with you or not. This is not good for your age, all of you. <clears throat> Fatwa number six one one three three. Takbir. I am a believing woman, and I fear Allah. But my problem is the following. I met a man. Let me, let me translate to you in English. Use Google translation so you can read. So she met a man. And uh, they used to do things, you know, uh, over the phone. And when they meet, they kiss, they touch, you know. And we keep doing that for a couple of months. And then one day, uh, her uh, conscience, she woke up like she don't want to do that no more. And she decided to do Umrah, which means to visit the Kaaba, to go around the Kaaba, to touch the black stone, so her sin would be forgiven. But the problem, her memory with the kisses of this guy, each time she remember how he kissed her, Several times, my brother, I reached the point of desire, and she have you know orgasm, and she is asking the sheikh what she would do, and now she is asking, is that you know, is that uh, uh, destroy my fasting? <laughs> Should I wash my private part? Look at the questions. Look at the questions. And the brother, she is asking to. Just to let you know that my orgasm, brother, is yellow. And thank you very much. <laughs> First of all, uh, <clears throat> uh, don't worry about those things. The Quran says, Allah forgive all sin, especially al-lamam. Al-lamam is you doing everything with the women, unless you do intercourse. As long as you touch her, you put your private part around, you touch her here, there, down, up there, whatever you want, it's okay. Don't worry about it. This is not even forbidden in Islam. Illa al-lamam. <sighs> What a problem. Put yourself in her shoes. And this is the prophet teaching us about the women orgasm. As you see, we open our Skype, we challenge them, and nobody dare to call. And as you see, you Christian are not inviting your friends. And as you see, we have only like 800, 700 people watching. And as you see, okay guys, you don't want me to come often. Maybe I should take some time off, a few days, so you guys miss me. What happened? The summer come, you know, we used to have 2,000, 3,000 people watching. What happened? And... Okay, I will maybe, I, I will take a, I will buy a book about semen. I will be busy reading it. You know, I want to increase my, I know, increase my knowledge about the women's semen. Women's, I will make a book. It's about women's semen. Do you think, do you know how many people will buy it? I will name it Prophet Muhammad Discovery. 
about the women's semen. Amazon will not take it from the shelf. By the way, Amazon is taking my books one by one off the shelves. And they claim, they claim this is not because of my writing. This is no, 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 they have had problems. People go to the to order my books, they cannot find them. Amazon, get lost. Don't worry, we'll get them for free. You think you can stop us? Get lost. I am a Chinese. I have many Christian friends. Most of them are good at business. Only at business? Come on, man. Uh... Do we have any Muhammad and last call? Last call. Mayday, mayday, mayday. We give we give women semen for free if you call us. Give us one call, we give you two, two women semen for free. You know, my friend, it's okay. Uh, you know, my videos actually, they are being watched by, you know, tens of thousands, millions. Uh, in other channels. Here, I believe YouTube is playing with us. There's no way, you know, channels have uh, like uh, 90,000 or 80,000 or 100,000, and then you will get only 70, you know, they are playing with our uh, the numbers. There's no way. But I understand why. It's okay. It's okay. You know, no problem. The important is how many of you would download the video. You can cut it pieces, by the way. Don't cut the semen. I mean, make a piece for the semen. Piece for Mimi Hijab. Piece for the guy who had been uh, promoted, uh, David Wood promoted Islam. <laughs> you know, the funny about uh, David Wood when he was speaking to uh, Nadura, Nunu, you know, uh, this Nader Ahmed is mentally ill. I mean, you should not, you should not let him even call you. You see, I took, I took his call last time because this guy he keep going around. Christian Prince is running away from me, you know. So I said, okay, and come on, Zakir Naik. Last time, sorry, I mean Nader Ahmed. Last time we call you, you admit that your prophet have sex with a goat. What today will do? The guy he called me, and you know what happened. You can go watch it. So it's you know, uh, but don't don't lower yourself to this level, you know. If you want a debate, if you want to correct a debate, at least get somebody, you know, somebody, not a bunch of kids. When you debate kids, you lower your level. And for me, I don't call it a debate. I, you know, call me. That's why my Skype is open. There's no need for moderator. We don't announce a debate because there's no debate. What debate? You cannot debate a fool. What de there's no... you. Uh, there's not a single Muslim can debate me. That's why none of my debate is a debate. This is a very stupid religion. I mean, look at those two scholars. Brother. Or something of the sort. <laughs> And then the whole congregation, and then they're inviting them to the local masjids. This jahil, this ignorant miskin. Ya yuhan nas, ma gharraka bi rabbika al-kareem, alladhi khalaqaka, wa sawaka, wa adalaka. Ya yuhan nas. Astaghfirullah. Ya yuhan nas. And he's reading, he's reading from the... And those Abdul, they are going crazy. You know, what is missing that they are going to take their hair from their, from their uh, face. Somebody saying, where is Umad? He is busy with work. Astaghfirullah. He's totally chopped off the word. Now this, in this one, Ya insan You know, the Muslim, they make, they think when they make the sound come from their nose, it sounds like became like a, they hear their echo. Now it became holy. Finally, we made it holy. And even this one, by the way, they were trying to copy how the Christian Aramaic they recite the Bible. But 
It's a stupid way. He's taken off the word. Look, look, insan, human. Can you tell the difference between Ya Ayyuhal Insan and Ya Ayyuhal Nas? These are not minor mistakes, you know, minor tajweed mistakes, makharij mistakes. These are major, which might even come under Tahrif al Quran. You're changing the words of the Quran. Tahrif, he is doing Tahrif Quran, brother. He's correcting the Quran. You're taking out full words, you're taking out full letters. Uh, Allah you're Allah adding, letters, yes, you're adding letters even so you can see the severity of this and like I said the whole purpose of this is the whole purpose so what the whole purpose will your God Allah he sent the Quran in seven letters make it eight and we come and add one what difference going to make huh? is to show this man who do you think you are coming here pointing out the mistakes of stalwarts of this ummah yet you can't even look in the Quran and recite the Mullah, Quran I make correctly. A I wanna make. Mullah this Johal and he even came to his masjid recently as well. Yeah. These Johal need to be put in their place academically if they want to. I love it when you say academically. I, a Muslim talking about academically. The sun set in a muddy spring, the sperm coming from the backbone, and, you know, and now they are after the guy because he is a stupid and he lie. All of you are liars. Prove me wrong. Mm -hmm. Women have a sperm? Are you sure? Who is a Muslim here who had the experience with women's sperm? Any Muslim? Because until now in history, it never happened that anyone discovered that women, they have a sperm. I want to know how the Prophet of Allah, he discovered that. Anyone? You can't stop laughing? My friend, you are serious here. How you are laughing? Okay, listen. There's a guy, he was laughing at the teaching of the Prophet. Do you know what happened to him? Allah turned him to be a seaman. You go now, you sleep. You wake up in the morning, you will find your bed full of semen. Your wife, she come to look for you. She don't find you. She finds semen. Good news, brother. Your wife, she can take you to the laboratory. And she can implement you again. And she can have you again because now she have your semen. So you can have a new husband. Thank you very much. I mean, look who defend Islam. People who they are doctors. Dr. Zakar Naik. Hey, Zakar, are you really a doctor? <laughs> Brother Prince, first of all, I'm going to tell everybody that you're Arabic and funny. You're Arabic and funny, and you know nothing. Uh, okay. Listen to me carefully. Hey, Zakar Naik. Just give me a second. I want to get my umbrella. Chris and Prince, there's no time for umbrella. And that umbrella will can't save you from me. He's like a nag. I'm not going to be run away from you, but I don't want to be showered by your spitting machine, man. You are not talking. You spit. Chris and Prince, I spit because I'm a spitting person. And I like it this way. If God did not end, you would become here. What the heck? I did not get the last part. If the God did not end, you would become here. Hey, uh, Zach and I. Are you reading Arabic now? Exactly. Uh, this is why I cannot understand. This is Arabic and Urdu. Your shake is not a shake. And your scholar is a potatoes. And you became a joke for everybody. And you lie to everybody. And without lies, Islam dies. And this is the truth, you know, my friend. And my Skype is open. Who want to get me busted? Hmm? Anyone? And those guys are really trying to explain. We are ready for them. But saw your tajweed out. First, first, my first condition with you is to first test your tajweed. So you better get learning. This individual is absolutely impermissible. I'm not a mufti, but I will hear, I will issue a fatwa. Salah behind. Uthman bin Farooq, 
okay? Al-miskin, yak al-jahil is haram. First of all, my friend, I'd advise anyone to turn his ass to both of you. I believe both of you are dangerous in this scenario because you are Salafi. Salafi people, they get tempted by the ass of men. And we have reference for that. And we mentioned it last time. When a Salafi like you, he was led, the prayer was led by a person like, exactly like Sheikh or Uthman, his ass is big. And he was effeminate. He went to the caliphate and he said to him, uh, Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum salam. Brother, uh, uh, caliphate, uh, we have an imam who he have a nice bum. Well, what? He have like, you know, <clears throat> you know, uh, uh, I don't know what you mean exactly. Okay. Uh, uh, this guy, he tempt us. Uh, what? Okay, let me, let me explain to you more. Uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> uh, let me, let me, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay, okay, Uthman. And the funny, his name is Uthman too. I mean, unbelievable. I went to Uthman ibn Affan while he was beside and said to him, you are the chief of all Muslims in general. And you see what befitting to you. What befitting to you? Look what befitting to you. People get tempted by the ass of a man. Unbelievable. We are led, Salat, the prayer, by a leader of fitna. Fitna, Muslim, they, they, Muslims, they are very nice. They explain to you what fitna mean. I mean, they write it in Arabic, but they add a bracket. Trial, affliction, etc. <laughs> what is that? And we are afraid of being sinful in following him. Uthman said, Salat and the prayer is the best of the deeds. So when people do the good deed, do the same as they do. But when you do bad deed, avoid it. As Zori said, in our opinion, one should not offer Salat behind a feminine person unless there is no alternative. So those guys saying that praying behind Uthman is haram. The real reason is not because he's a stupid and he's a liar. The real reason they are worrying that his ass is nice and they will be tempted. And look what this hadith did. Why Muslims are going to be fearing trial, affliction, etc. Because the guy is effeminate. I mean, do you see what happened? Those Abdul are complaining that the guy is a, is a homosexual. Is acting like a woman and they are afraid they will be tempted but that's mean you are a homosexual too because why a man will suffer from a trials affliction etc because a man he bend in front of him or what the guy he did he bent over in front of them to pray What's happening behind is unbelievable. The Abdul are going to explode. Look at this bum, brother. MashaAllah. It's so good. How you got tempted by a man? Trials? Trials. Because a man... He bent over in front of you, and look, he is complaining supposedly about the homosexual. Like he is not, he is not, you know, he only tempted by the homo. But do you see that? Do you see that? The how filthy this cult is. How you get tempted by a man unless you are? Listen, <clears throat> Prince. First of all, this person he get tempted because the person in the front of him was very very beautiful. Yeah, like her. Do he look like you? Christian Prince, I'm sexy and you know it. Actually, you know what? There's a song in YouTube. I don't know who made it. I don't want to play it. Uh, <laughs> Somebody made a cartoon. Uh,
I don't know who made this cartoon, to be honest with you. Who made this cartoon? Oh, hold on. I don't know who made this cartoon here. One day somebody sent me this uh, in this video. Maybe I should send you the link so you can watch. I'm not going to play the sound because YouTube might, might cause a problem with the song. You know? But I was talking and debating somebody. And then suddenly, a cartoon of Zachary Nayak appeared. Assalamu alaikum. Christian Prince, Christian Prince, please, for the God, for the sake of Allah, leave me alone. I told you one million times, don't call me after middle of the night. First of all, I might be having sexual intercourse with my wife now. Secondly, this is sexual harassment. <laughs> Number three, I have no answer for you. Hey brother, but we have a question here about this verse in chapter 66, verse number three. <laughs> I mean, what Allah, what the Prophet, he told his wife a secret, and then the secret is spread around, and the secret became very well known, and then Allah told him about it. And then Allah, he made him know part of, the, a part of it and avoid the part. What is that part? Okay, I will tell you. First of all, don't ever listen to Christian Prince. He always, first of all, Show me your faith. Show me your faith. I will give you the answer. <laughs> anyway, I will give you the link so you can, you can download the video and share it around. It's funny. I don't know who made this. Uh, who, who made this? Uh, this cartoon. It was really funny because there is a song, and I don't want to play the song later. And then uh, Zachary Nike start doing striptease. By the cartoon for sure. This is the link. Anyway, I think we have enough uh, for today. I hope you guys you have a good time. And as you see, those Mohammedan they don't dare to call us. We challenge them life. We stay here for a long, long time, and not a single one of them he dare. Why? Because they knew they cannot debate Christian Prince. They will debate only somebody he do not know Islam, so they can fool him. Here, Islam is dead. For Islam is exposed. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to download the video as soon as we finish because we don't keep my videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our Patreon so you can be receiving an update about where we will be next time going live. As you know, we might lose our channel anytime because YouTube is trying their best to oppress and to bury our truth. But they will never stop us. They delete one channel, we will have 10 channels more. So in order to get update, Subscribe to Patreon so you will be notified when I'm going to go live and which channel will be. Thank you. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is a fraud. Islam without lies dies. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, 
Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him, 